Kia ora, my name is Maggie, and this is Maggie Coco Science for Sociopaths. I thought I'd show you around. This first wall features photographs taken at the first ever Maggie Coco Science for Sociopaths multimedia show, which was at the Fungare Art Museum in October 2020 and featured an installation, which are all these pictures at the top, that was already at the art museum, an interactive sculpture by Trent Morgan and Kim Grunewald. And as the audience went through the song cycle with me, they adapted the sculpture to reflect their own emotions. Underneath, we have snapshots from the interaction with the audience and the dancers. This is Jasmine Fisher Johnson, who will be doing a show with me this Friday, which we will be live streaming from this gallery. And that, of course, is the incomparable Tyler Matheson. This is a very cool background that uh, Lauren Fagan made for me. Audience getting in there. Tyler getting in there. Audience getting in there while Tyler sponges himself. Audience getting cheeky and messing with my background, which was not against the rules. We did not say not to do that. Jasmine being arty cool. Tyler being arty cool. All of these photographs were taken by Olivia Gorelja, who then ended up doing the next show with me. Oh, before we get there. There is a blank space on this wall because last Friday we did a projection show with uh, Kim Newell. And that piece is in post-production and will be here shortly. So, as I said, Olivia so enjoyed taking photos at the first show that we ended up collaborating on a show two weeks later as part of the same festival, Fungare Fringe, what what? And this piece is acrylic on canvas, and for this one, the audience was invited to paint on the same canvas as Olivia. So, um, between each song, so over 10 songs, which is roughly 42 minutes, um, Olivia would be painting while I performed, and then we would pause for the audience to make their impression on the canvas and um, it got really creative. By the end, we had people dipping whole hands into paint buckets. So, um, there's a lot of input on this. Hmm. And to this end, now for something completely different. We have the very first Kim Newell show. Now Kim Newell is a creative technologist, performance artist, and educator working in multimedia, mobile, interactive, and immersive art. This is the coolest part. He, his work draws heavily from the hacker, maker, and open source cultures and engages a number of different technologies. Hacker, maker. Hmm. I'm not a hacker or anything. I just like the movie. So... Kim did some projection, and the audience was invited to create their own um, pieces for the projection. So they could create a background, or they could create a character. And Kim would then work these into his projection so people would see their creations projected onto the screen, projected onto me, projected pretty much everywhere. And uh, as you can see, we also had people just drawing what was in their hearts in addition to what the song cycle may have inspired in them. 
I think this one's my favorite. I think that's supposed to be me, and that is a severed foot. And right here, we have art pending. That is for our show tomorrow at 7 p.m. featuring Jasmine Fisher Johnson, the ever talented. Uh, and our original concept was for her to dance with this mannequin here and the audience would body paint her and then as she danced with the mannequin, the paint, or the, the audience would body paint the mannequin and as she danced with the mannequin, the paint would rub off onto her uh, in a representation of the exchange of energies and emotions between two people in a relationship. Um, because we do not have the audience participation component available to us, Jasmine will now have this entire floor to herself instead of having to accommodate any chairs. I will be in my corner and Jasmine will dance and we will have a camera on me, we will have a camera on Jasmine and you can all tune in at your, at, well, at the time of the performance or at your leisure thereafter. Here's our next piece. This one was really fun. So this is a solo show with uh, Tyler Matheson, the dancer featured uh, alongside Jasmine in the very first show. And at this show, we stapled this canvas onto a stage and invited the audience to body paint Tyler directly. And then Tyler danced on this cotton sheet canvas. And this is what we came away with. I'll show you some of my favorite bits. So a lot of people see faces in here. Um, somebody wrote boo on him and that came out directly. My favorite bit is these eyes right here. Somebody actually put those right onto his shoulder blades and Tyler, who's unbelievably flexible, found a way to like bend backwards and get his shoulder blades onto the canvas. And then when he pulled away, they were there and also this one had what looks like tears come away. That's my favorite bit, but there's a lot to like and appreciate in this massive canvas. All of these pieces are for sale if you are interested. Over here! Memorabilia, if you're interested in that kind of thing. We have a couple of commemorative posters from this song cycle. Uh, this show on Friday was intended to be the last show and probably still will be, although I'm really tempted to find a way to do the Jasmine show as intended. Um, but each of these posters can be yours. If you're interested, text me for more information on that. And last, but certainly not least, we have uh, another experiment, which all of this pretty much is. Uh, this is called Wordplay, which is a piece that was created in collaboration with artist Lauren Fagan. And this is here for the duration of the exhibit and people are invited to take the pieces of, of recycled media, words and phrases, and articulate their own impressions, thoughts, and feelings from not just the song cycle, but from the exhibit. So that's Maggie Coco, Science for Sociopaths in a nutshell. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please tune in this Friday night for our live stream. If you can't tune in at the time because you're in another time zone or something like that, tune in later. Uh, it will be on Twitch and YouTube and Facebook. And then I'll probably get, a, get around to posting it in other places if you're getting there after the fact. Uh, if you're interested in attending or if you have an idea about a Science for Sociopaths show, a collaboration, if you're an artist that wants to do a collab, please hit me up. Um, I have nearly finished the next song cycle, which I will be premiering within the next six months, something like that. Okay. See you soon. Thanks so much. Bye!